Greetings, Disky Fam. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Sisonke Disky Chat. I'm Len Moleko, and this is a show where we talk everything football and obviously keeping a very close focus to our favorite teams. Of course, I'm talking about Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs. But before we get into today's show, don't forget something exciting is happening with Vodacom because you, Disky Fam, can become an icon in your hood. Uh, you've got a chance to win yourself a customized Kusheshe, that's a 325 IS, or you can win yourself a Kentucky Rounder. And for you to be eligible to win, it's simple. Just head on to now.vodacom.co.za, fill in your details, and who knows, come end of the season, you could be rolling around your streets in a legendary customized car. All the details are on the episode, and you also get them once the show comes to an end. I'm going to get straight into it. Uh, as per usual, we are joined by legends. And today is no different. Uh, Fabian McCarthy, former Kaiser Chiefs defender. Yes. And uh, Captain, my Captain. Ah, thanks, Len. <laughs> thanks, Len, for, in for the invite. Yeah, man. Uh, pleasure to have you guys here. And uh, interestingly enough, when uh, we're putting the show together for today uh, and talking about Kev, and it just so happens that we do have um, matches of the continent coming up for both Kaiser Chiefs and for both Orlando Pirates. You guys have clearly been on the journey of playing on the continent. So just take me through some of the experiences that you guys have gone through uh, while playing uh, CAF, Champions League or Confederation Cup matches. I'm going to start with you, Fabian. Yeah, look, obviously it's, it's, it's different. I think uh, maybe with the time zones and differences, it's much better now. I think uh, our team has a better chance now. Uh, but way back then, it was, it was difficult. It, they'll... They'll book you or put you up in in the main uh, in the city in the main road where there's traffic 24/7. But when the teams visit us in Mzanzi, we put them in Santon, we put them in Rosebank, Ravonia, where it's nice and relaxed. Instead of taking them to Ilbro or taking them to <laughs> to to Bree Street, you know where it's happening. And so, and also maybe uh, Ulagzo will 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 concur with me. Sometimes they put you up in that hotel where you know. Under, underground, yeah. from reception going down, the devil was dancing there. So <laughs> all those things are there, but it 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 it, it comes back to uh, preparation, uh, mental strength, especially from the individual, from the team, and also the pre preparations going to the place because sending somebody there two three weeks in advance, check the conditions and stuff. But the worst one for me, Len, is we give them luxury passes. We're not giving them Padco or those buses, you know. Yeah. We give them luxury buses, last numbers. Mm. But when you get there, uh, not even a, a CIA or something. Smaller than a CIA, they give you three. You must see how you get in it and get to the hotel. Now, here, you know, luxury bus, you put the luggage at the bottom. Mm. Uh, the kid guys maybe have their own bucky for kids, boots, everything. There. As luck, so you'll sit on top of your bed. <laughs> Lucky, what has been some of your experiences? You know, the funny thing uh, with, with what Fabian is mentioning, uh, I remember having a conversation with Coach Puto Musimani, and he was saying, I mean, you travel by the kind of buses that Fabian is talking about for close to four or five hours just from the airport to wherever it is that you stay. And already by that time, your mind is already being played around with. The tricks have started. What are, what are some of the tricks that you have gone through? You know, I think mine is worse, as you remember the story of T.P. Mazembe, what happened? Yeah. From the airport to the state to, to the hotel, I think we took um, two, two hours. Yeah, two hours. The same buses that the Fabian is talking about, you know, small buses. We, you know, we don't know even the name of the buses, you know, small, and the bus inside, there was dust. You ask the guy, the guy, uh -huh, uh -huh, I can't speak English, you see. <laughs> so even if you want to ask the driver why the bus is like this, they don't answer you. And the other thing, you know, the way they play, they, they play um, mind games. That's why I'm saying to you, from the airport to the hotel, you know, they'll, they'll take, you know, um, they'll take um, like, what was that, like distance to yeah. the hotel, whereas the hotel is next to the, the airport, so that they can what? Bakalabola, like Manduale, you understand? So, like, the good thing about, about uh, my team, my, like Generation Lorenke, that's low now. Actually, the Generation Lorenke, which is the semi-final, uh, Champions League, it was 2006, and again 2013 with uh, Roger Dissa. Mm. They were like, you know, most of, most of us were senior players. 
And you know, it's good to have plus by Long Horing. Like 2013, we had in Besuma, we had uh, Okongo, and it was good, you know, um, to 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 like uh, to share the experience, yeah. you know, with the players. And you know, we said that I remember uh, Okongo said to the players, we mustn't focus, you know, um, on the hotel food or whatever. We must make sure that whenever we get inside the field, it's where we must focus. And we are there not to represent Orlando Pirate. Mm -hmm. We are there to represent the country. Mm -hmm. So it's not easy to go and play, um, like, you know, out of South Africa. We went to GRC, you know, it's plus like we yeah. share, like Rabala 2-2. Mm -hmm. I remember I was sharing a room with two. They were like, other bed it was like banana. <laughs> it, like nearly so. <laughs> and the other bit was like, oh, then as a senior player, I sacrificed. Then I said to Joe, Joe, no, come and sleep here. I will sleep there. Hey, but in the morning, yo, 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 I was feeling pain. Oh. You know, in the morning after breakfast, I went straight to massage. That's why you're still wearing that bed. You see, that's why, bed. because yeah. I still feel pain. <laughs> you, know, I, I, you know, that game, I played that game with pain. We played playing against, um, just I forget the name of the team. But yeah, those are the treatments they long ring like we get them. Same like Masembe story. Lunchtime, they said to us, you know, the day, the day when you arrive to when to because of you know when you arrive you must feel the pitch Fabi you must go and feel the pitch you know like on our way to the stadium Masol and Jana to Lamope we are asking ourselves and our gents they said no no it's their time to homage mm. then after that you know like the stadium if they say three o'clock you'll train from three until four o'clock we arrived there around it was ten minutes left mm. then after ten minutes hey out 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 you understand but in Sagama Stadium because of our time was our time was finished mm. then the following day. Break, uh, 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 breakfast, the water was okay. Mm. Born was five stars there. Breakfast, it was okay. Like, uh, pre meal, the day of the game. Mm. Then after the food, but said you after like but said after said Jomo Raja. Then I asked the guy, hey, my friend was, you know, the, something to drink. I said to you, my friend, they didn't pay, they didn't pay for for any drink. Then after the uh, after few five five minutes. The guy came back. He said, no, 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 they are bringing the drinks. Then I said to the team, please don't drink. Don't, don't drink it. Don't. Unless we'll drink water because of, we'll go to the stadium. What's going to happen with us? We'll run to the toilet all of us. <laughs> so we didn't drink, then we went to the stadium. As I said, when, when we play the Champions League, you must make sure or focus guy in the field. Don't focus like at the hotel, treatment at the hotel or whatever. So I think you're an experienced selling hurting right all like the Champions League. For when I come into Mzanzi, Fabian is it one understand the We give them a, a, a good treatment, presidential treatment, give them a nice bus, nice hotel. I remember playing against Mazembe Orlando Stadium, and they told us, You are coming. You are coming, you'll see. I was like, but these guys, you know, I was taking it as a joke, but it was it was tough. You know, I went to some of the countries, but Mazembe, you know, even Bafana Bafana, we went like to other countries. It yeah. was better, but Mazembe, it was, it was worse. Fabian, um, how important is it uh, for big brands, uh, big teams in the country? Obviously, Kaza Chiefs is one, Orlando Pirates is one. How important is it, despite all the stories that you guys are telling me, how important is it to, for them to do well in this competition? Because to, say, to a certain degree, it obviously says a lot about our league it says a lot about our national team if our two biggest clubs are doing well on the continent look it it, it obviously also attract uh, big sponsors you know obviously the sponsors with a big uh, name of the team and the brand is just uh, uh, coming together and obviously like you said giving off what mzanzi has i mean you know other teams won the the, the champions uh, league already but you can't compare them when it comes to the history of Orlando Pirates and, 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 and Kaiser Chiefs. And it's so important. That's why if players come to the team, like Lucky was saying, I felt a plus for me was when you have players from Nigeria, uh, DRC, Congo, uh, Angola, or Mozambique, or wherever, when you go out there, these are the guys that you look up to to say at least guide the youngsters, advise them, and see. And I've seen so many when we go out in Africa, you see the character of the player, it rubs off you, you know. Uh, I was playing in, uh, not TP Mazembe, the other team in DR Congo. SV Vita? Yeah, I think it was AS Vita. Yeah. We were playing on a gravel grass ground. <laughs> I saw this one defender, you know, Muna was diving, he was playing. He said, hey boy, we need to get a result here. And that character was like, this is what we have to take into where nobody see 
what happens. You go out there, and when you come home here, you know it's rosy. You know you play pirates, you go there. You know you play sundowns, you go there. But when you go out, it's, it's, it's just a total different ball game altogether, like Lucky saying. You're lucky if you go and train at the stadium yeah. the day before the game. Yeah. Uh, I remember we were training at some, some grounds next to the hotel, the road, you know, that's made with this wooden goal post. It's standing like this. <laughs> it's small goal post. Or you must go clean, first pick up some stuff and that. But I think that's building character. Uh, that's why I think we need players that you say, when you sign for certain teams that are competing on the continent, mm -hmm. you need to sign a player with a character, with that professionalism to say that when the going gets tough, he needs to get in and, 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 and pull, pull the strings together. That's why it's very important to, to have our African brothers in our teams, mm -hmm. you know, but jo not just NGA, anyone. Yeah. He must have character, he must have the personality. Like Lucky mentioned, Okonko, there's your Besuma, there was uh, your Muisi Ajao, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, there's so many players, uh, Chuku, uh, you know, those type of guys, you need them to be part of it. And I think uh, Pirates had most of these guys that were playing into this. Uh, on the continent before they joined them. So it could have been easy for them when they go out there to your Zambia and wherever. Like, I mean, Abu and Mesuma and them, they know, they tell you to say, look, don't expect anything when you go out there. Mm -hmm. And with the food, like Lagzo was saying, I will eat chips and that bread they're baking because I know it's fresh, yeah. it's coming. Chicken, anything, don't give me because you don't know what you put yourself into. And like Lagzo is saying, you know, some of the boys... They just eat something. Now he's nervous. He's seeing the opponent and he say, no, I got the tummy. You know, want to blame it. But it's, it's, it's difficult. That's why now the fields are open. Our teams prepare better now. Yeah. Our teams has the advantage to say we complain or we're sending delegates there to reorganize and arrange. I mean, we were moving from hotel to this hotel to that hotel. But if your team doesn't have the financial backing or big sponsor, to, to meet Kev halfway or say, look, give us your five US dollars budget yeah. for the week. We will go, we'll top, and we'll make it just easy for it. But even with the referees now, the cheating is gone. They, they will cheat you, then he'll say, I don't understand. Talk to your <laughs> captain. So I don't know how Lagzo was communicating yeah. with these uh, referees, you know, when he's the captain. But it, it, it's rough. But it was good. For me, it was good. Uh, I've learned so much. Where, where is it mostly difficult to travel? I mean, uh, like you mentioned, obviously the southern part of Africa, I would assume it's much easier. Uh, our next door neighbors, Lesotho, the Botswanas, the Zimbabwe's of this world, I would like to think they are easier versus deeper you, the deeper you go onto the continent. What have been some of those difficult countries Minus DRC, because you've already told us. <laughs> DRC. Yeah. Um, yeah, like Fabian, as he mentioned, like, um, totally referee. I remember there's where um, a defender, he kicked in Besuma, then I said to the referee, but ref, this is the ending career taken. Then he said, hey, my friend, I can't speak English. You see, that's why now it's easy for um, our teams to play in Africa. You understand? Because of like now Fabian said they can send the delegates, but to play against South African countries, it's easy because of all of us, what, we, we, we understand the same language, mm. which is English. Mm. Even if they bring a referee from DRC, can speak only French. No, 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 as more long -holding. you play against a team from DRC, they can speak French, you can speak French. Yeah. They bring what, a, 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 a referee learning over last French. Mm. It happened, that's why sometimes the players where long -holding. you don't um, need them in the team. But when you play Champions League, Obvious, we are going to include him. Why? Same like Musasa. Mm. You know Musasa, you know how to... Both Musasas. Yes. Yeah. You'll select him. Why? Yeah. So that when you go there, he can at least, you know, um, um, like interpret language high. So, uh, play against African, South African, like, countries. It's easy. We went to Botswana. You know, it was easy. They were happy for us. And you know that Botswana is our neighbors. Mm. Paris supporters are too many there. Even the, the day of the game, I was so surprised. Like seeing. Uh, like you're playing in Mzanzi. Mzanzi, you know, <laughs> like Pirates supporters, they were like dominating. Like we went to. Um, like Lesotho. Swaziland. Same like Lesotho, <laughs> Swaziland. Swaziland, we gave them five. They came to mm -hmm. we gave them five. Because of it, like we're playing at home. Yeah. Yeah. But playing, you know, um, out of like South, Southern Africa, mm -hmm. difficult. Uh, yeah. Even with Bafana Bafana, we went to Burundi. 
I think it was our last game to qualify for the uh, AFCON. Mm -hmm. You know, um, as you know, I'm, I'm emotional because of that. That game, I got injured. Yes, we won the game two, and I got injured, and I missed, you know, the opportunity to go to the AFCON. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when we arrived, they said to us, uh, offers of a bomb like more day. Like the blood are they like, ah, where were you? You were not there. Mm -hmm. Hey, plus they were like, we're going to sleep there. I didn't sleep that day. The following day, I went to the stadium, you know, to play a game, you know, morning, they were like around Dunale my soldier. Yeah. Understand that like countries of Tunal Tons and Wellong Horong with Alapo Ronale my soldier around Bobo Torno, like Hunale Bomb, understand that. How mm. are you going to play? That's what I'm saying. You know, most of the time, Sina Plus, you know, they always play um, a big role. That's why, like, whenever they ask me, I say, you know, teams of youngsters, I don't think they can go to DRC and come back with the win or whatever. Mm. There's no way because of mental level, the, but like mental level, like I said, right. But as one of the senior players, it's easy because of the experience and they know very well, you understand? Mm. So it's easy to rule with the player, especially a whole lot of like um, good countries out of South Africa. South, South so we look at uh, the situation now, ne? Uh, Obviously, back then when you guys were playing on the continent, the fan factor is, is also a big thing. Where I know when you go, especially when you go to North Africa, those those things that they those things that they light up on the stadium, like immediately inflicting the intimidation on you as soon as you walk into the stadium. Now there are no fans. Do you think that plays in the favor of teams like teams from South Africa that travel across the continent? Uh, in at least being a little bit more relaxed than the situation would be if fans are there. Yeah, yeah. I think like it's easy because of there's no pressure. I remember when we played against um, Alali, the final mm. from the hotel. It was no it, supporters hitting the bus from you know from the hotel until to the stadium. Mm. There's where we stopped. I think for an hour, the supporters they like around. Then you ask the, you ask people that are around. You know maybe. Um, um, but why don't Baba Holmo understand the whole yeah. What's happening? They'll tell you, no, because of supporters, they are going to delay the games. But now it is to understand that going to the stadium, playing without the supporters, it's like back home, playing yeah. a derby without the support. There's no pressure. You know, when you play a derby, when the supporters are there, yeah. one mistake, you are out, they're going to boo you. Mm. Ah, number six, <laughs> number 14. So even if when you play a derby, yeah. it's easy now because of even if you make a mistake, mm. there's no one who can boo. So same like when you play in like Northern Africa. You play with their supporters because of there's no one who's going what? to intimidate you. Mm. We played, we played in, in DRC. You know that crowd, the supporters were here. Yeah. You can even hear them when they swear at you. When, like, when the ball is going to, you like, going to fetch, yeah. you'll hear supporters who understand that, like, you, 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 you assault or you swear, understand? Mm. So it's easy on everyone to play without the supporter because of you don't have pressure, you play like the Uber thing. I'm, I'm, I'm On that note, ne, Fabian, uh, there's a conversation I had, I think it was with uh, Dikhan uh, on the previous episode of, of the Disky Chat, where he was actually mentioning Hore, when the supporters are not there, now there's a different level of pressure that comes, because now you can hear the coach screaming at you on the <laughs> sidelines. Yeah, look, it's, it's, it's like I said, it's, it's probably like Lucky said, with the supporters, especially North Africa, you know, even Nigeria, so they start intimidating you the moment you arrive at the hotel. Mm -hmm. You might find out even some of the waiters yeah. are supporting that team. It's starting there with them already. But it's good now that there's no supporters, whatever. And then, obviously, you, you'll have to make use of hearing that voice of the coach, understanding it, how to react to it. Because when he's emotional, the screaming is different. But if, when he's happy also. So as a player, I always said, uh, I look at the coach and I give him that to say no, sharp. But don't just ignore him because then, you know, he gets... Some of them go crazy. You just look and say, nah, sharp. although you, he shouted at you and what, because I, I, I feel I sometimes, as a coach, when a player makes a mistake immediately, when you shout at him, that thing is still fresh. Yeah. It can kick him out, especially with the youngsters mm -hmm. in a team or so. You know, Like I always will say, look, it's fine. Just look at the coaches. Okay, we will have to sort it out. Because remember, I'm saying the instructions or the, the, the team talk is not how it's going on the field. Mm -hmm. There. We are the coaches. We have to decide for you. I can't tell Lucky, but I can just direct him and say, hey, do this, do this. Sharp, let's carry on. Because you have a split second to react again when that ball comes to you. So, yeah, there is those players like, tell me, I understand he was playing right in front of the coach, you know, <laughs> right, like Abu Ata and them. Yeah. Some coaches are crazy. 
you, you, you can't ignore him. He, he'll get into your face. Yeah. You know, like Abu Dolaza and them. Those coaches are funny or so, but in the meantime, you, you as a player, you must still decide and, and, and see how you're going to handle it. But like Lagzo is saying, there's no fence. There's no pressure. That's why you can see they make mistakes, Kadi Derby. They miss penalties, Kadi Derby. They still continue. So maybe it's good for some of the youngsters to settle in and come. But hey, China, I think in our time, no, you won't play the next derby. <laughs> like we look at uh, Orlando Pirates, obviously they are in the Confederation Cup. Uh, they should be playing, I think, uh, they're still in the preliminary round. Um, I'll get to Kaiser Chiefs just now, Fabian, because they're in the group stages and, 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 and they're going to be facing some very tough opponents. Uh, Pirates have always been renowned as, as being a team that competes very, 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 very heavy on the continent. This time, looking at the personnel they have, uh, there were obviously some places that they needed to sort out. How do you see them competing this time around? And, I mean, we have... A coach like Puto Musiman, who's doing very well on the continent, surely that's something that's also a motivation to a lot of the players that we have. Actually, you know, I think for Sundowns going to the champ to go in there and win the Champions League, I think the coach he played a big role because of his coach Bafana Bafana. Mm -hmm. You know, I think with he, with his experience, same like Parrot, when we reached the um, semi final of the Champions League, I think we had Tebo Muloi. Yes, Tebo, he played Champions League, and he, I think it's one of the players that he they won the Champions League. 2005. 1995. Yeah. So to have people, I think they play a big role. Like, whenever I know, right now we had a Kino Para. Yeah. As you know, Para, like, I think for me, it's a main guy. It's a, you know, he was a main guy. We the Champions League. We understand that. Apparently, we the Champions League. Yes, we can talk about Jerry's, Jerry's, Kosan's goal, but Para, I think he played a, a, a big role. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or like, we the Champions League. And obviously, you know, you, we win as a team. Yes, you know, the whole team, I think, the chairman, he assembled, you know, a good team. That's why they won the Champions League. But for me, I think now looking at the team, um, I'm here because of the chairman signed to uh, the captain of Afana Bafana. Yeah. I think with, with his experience, um, he's going to add value, you know, um, to the team. He's probably going to the Champions League because of he played in Africa. And Fabian Emation, for some of the foreign, our brothers, foreigners, coming to our teams. We, like now we have Mango, International of Malawi. We have photo international of um, um, Namibia. Namibia. Namibia yeah. He went to play uh, Afcon. Mm. Mangu, you know, he, obvious, you know, the, you can't question Mangu. He's a, he's a good striker. Mm. So to have those players in the team, I think it's going to help us a lot. Like so of Ori as well. Of Ori, you see, Ghana, and Ghana, you know, yeah. not, you're not talking about. I, I think for me now, the best goalkeeper, you know, you know, in Africa, I think it's it's of Ori. And not pay. They are number one. I want to hear this one. Let's, 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 let's hear you guys compare notes about the best goalkeeper on the continent now. Look, they are number one for the national team. They are they, on top of the FIFA ranking or CAF rankings. They are above Bafana Bafana. And they are first choice keepers at the teams. So I don't know who's better, who's not better, but whoever's going to win the AFCON next one, yeah. that keeper will be the best in Africa. That's how it stats is. You know, that's how it rolls. And like you said, you need those guys. I mean, like I was saying, I was playing with either defender, you had a midfielder, you normally have a striker, that they say the spine. I think they were just uh, lucky. They had Okpara and he was there forever. You know, the whole Nigeria is Okpara. Wherever they go, he could have could have done all those things, you know. But even with Brian, you remember this keeper, yeah, Al Ali, Shaya Spider with one. <laughs> you, you learn from that. Now they're no more gonna score like that. Yeah. But I think you know all those things are are, are stuff that that the the younger generation or the, the generation of now they need to understand and go through it. And who else can tell them about the guys that's been there, like the 1995 squad, Cherry them, 1996. Most of those guys went into that team, obviously, to prepare the other teammates from, you know, these teams to say, you're coming up against that Muna, he's so big, he's so huge, yeah. he's wearing size 15, but don't look at his boots, just go through him, you know. All those, those, those things are, are obviously helping, and, 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 I, and I think it's about time our teams compete and not reject uh, the, the, the continental uh, competitions based on financial issues and stuff like that yeah. because it's coming back 
and then FIFA is just hitting our team's heart, being it suspensions, being it not signing players, being it not co uh, competing for two, three seasons, although you, you will win it every year, but yeah. then you, you won't be able to, to compete. But your former team is, is doing relatively well on the continent. Yes, the group stages have not started. Uh, they're going to go up against some powerhouses on, on, on the African continent. How do you rate their chances? Look, obviously, uh, for now, you will say they, they, they're the underdogs going into this game against uh, last year's, last season's runners-up. And obviously, they want to make sure they get into the final again. And I think for Chiefs, it's, it's nothing. They have nothing to lose, but they have so much to gain. When it go, they go out there, they do what they did what, pr prior to this game getting into, into the group stages. Yeah. But I'm saying in any competition, if you want to win it, you have to beat the best to lift that trophy. Or so. so giving them that to say that whatever happened here, Ko Mzanzi, yeah. is gone, is forgotten. Once they get to Oar Tambo and get on the plane, they must just say we're at Casablanca here and go for the for a win because nothing else. When they come here, they're going to be under a bit of pressure because when you play away, you must make sure you get that goals and you don't concede. So it's, 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 it's a bit tricky, but it also prepares you to say that how do you prepare yourself as a team, as a technical team for the next game and how, where you're going to take advantage or where you're going to make sure you seal it off or you wrap it. Like you said, it's almost money. You mentioned it. He's doing well. He was with Bafana. He traveled on the continent. He has learned. And no wonder he's there where he is. And I hope our teams get this team and then we'll see what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so so in, 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 in preparation, uh, obviously you guys have walked the path. Do you prepare for a Champions League game the same way you would if you are playing a Chippa United or a Polo Kwani City, for instance? I'm not sure about Fabian, but for us, we prepare differently. Like, locally, we used to train at Orlando. Our rest again. We know that we are going to play, um, not like not more pitching here, right? Yeah. Obvious. You know when you go to other countries, the pitch are not like in South Africa. Mm. So we'll go maybe to train, uh, maybe go to Mbisa or Makulo, mm. or maybe somewhere maybe more this like this Bambi one. Oh, yeah. So that you can use to that Bambi pitch. So that's why I remember we were playing in Comoros and Komoroski artificial. That, that whole week, like in the Rutina or Nike Stadium, mm. so that we can prepare ourselves. Like the type of the boots where mm. we are going to use, you understand? Mm. So, and, and even the time. When you play, you find that um, in South Africa, 3 o'clock. Yes, and we're yeah, going to be 12 o'clock. Yeah. So, we'll train at 12 o'clock. Or if they give me at night, you'll train at yeah. night. So, mm. like for for like for Pirate, we used to let, like, like, mm. like whenever we prepare a game at Champions League, we look at the country where we are going. So, John and Tulor are going to For you, Fabian, how, 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 did you, how did you guys sort of like prep yourselves in terms of getting ready for those African adventures? Look, obviously, you know, you, you get information about the airport itself, the city, the place where you're going to stay, where you're going to train, how you're going to travel, all, all those things. You, you, you prepare yourself and of, if you have a player from that country, in the team, especially when it comes to the French-speaking guys, yeah. you know, it's easy because they will just say, hey, Papa, Papa, you know, <laughs> Papa, you know, but it can relate and we can rub it off them to yeah. say, you know, like Mabedi, when you go to Malawi or these countries next to Malawi, the neighboring countries, you will be the guy to say, look, guys, we need to prepare for this or this. For me, obviously, I knew food-wise was going to be a challenge, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I couldn't take Nando's with or something, and scuffing and stuff. But yeah, that that was a challenge. But I think sometimes also the teams, we you travel maybe a week before, or some teams you 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 travel maybe within 48 hours yeah. so that you acclimatize or so only after 48 hours. So mm -hmm. it, it depends, you know, if you have a big sponsor and the sponsor make it possible to connect you and though you can go in, yeah. play, come out, <laughs> done. You know, no. Uh, this uh, waiting for this to connect flights no wherever tricks, no you nothing. just go in straight you out. go in you do your thing boom get out you know that is i think how you see the other teams that uh, have been winning the champions yeah. league 
that's how they've been going about their business. And you know, uh, one team in Mzanzi, they, they're following it. It's just for our teams also to follow that trend and make use of that resources and go and ask and say, look, let's talk, man. Guide us here, help us. Let's ask for advice. Don't be, I mean, foot, football is a game of opinions, being it on and off the field. You learn every day, and you, if you think you know it all, then sometimes you're just going to be dead, dead end and then crash. Benefits to the national team. Uh, are we getting benefits from how our teams are performing on the continent now? Or is it still a work in pro progress? One day we'll get there, but we are very far from there. Or are we moving in the right direction to get there? For me, I think we're moving in that direction. It happened. 1995, where Pirates, they went to win the Champions League, and I think they were like 8 or 10 plus from Pirates. They went to play the, the um, AFCON. Uh, AFCON. AFCON, they won the AFCON. yeah, 96. They yeah. won the AFCON. Why they won the AFCON? Because of the experience. They only were by two at the time when they played Champions League. Yeah. So same like our players. Look at Pesita. Sometimes they play Champions League. Mm -hmm. I think for me, for Pesita, who, like Silence on today, is because of the two the Champions League. Yeah. They challenge a lot of weight against Fabian mentioned against the big Nigerians, big uh, um, Congolese players, you understand, and which is he's got a small frame of a body. Mm. So it prepared him, you understand, that mental and physical. That's why now at Alaku England. Yeah. So not only him, like even other players. Um, um, I guess it was this boy who used to play, who used to play left wing, Kick and Dolly. Oh, Kick and Dolly, yeah, yes, he was like in the team. Yeah. After they went to win the Champions League, they got the opportunity, why? To, to start a contract in, in Europe. Mm. So I think it's, 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 it's a good preparation for our players to, to, like, to come back to Bafana Bafana and uh, to get the opportunity to play for Bafana Bafana. Bafana. Like Pirate Plus, some of them, they went to play uh, uh, Convert um, and Champions League. Mm. I remember my team, AP, Roy, when we played the final of champ uh, the Champions League, they called them for national team. national team. Why? Because of Pirate of me in the um, 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 Champions, Champions League. So that's why they got what collapsed to, 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 to play for Bafana Bafana. So realistically, ne, uh, and I see Fabian has been trying to, <laughs> to escape from this question. No, 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 no I don't. I'm just saying. I go straight. If the if the striker come, I go. Uh, it's me or him. No, you're you right. Yeah. Even even now, when we play with the nations, lucky like cover, cover. Yeah, cover. because I can't run. <laughs> he wants to run. He must run. <laughs> how far do you how far do you think Kaiser Chiefs is going to go in the Champions League this season? Look, this one is a big one. This one is 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 going to set the trend for the whole group stages. Yeah. If they can pull this one off, even I think a draw would be good enough. Yeah. For for this to beat the weather at home. Because when they come here, remember, that thing of last season is still on their mind and what, what. So I think this is a big, big thing for, for Chiefs. But I have confidence. I think they can go through, uh, through the group stages and, and, and compete. And for you, Lucky, how do you see Orlando Pirates doing in the Confederation? No, they must win it. <laughs> There's no thing. Thank you, guys. Win the ah, you, you Cup. Don't have <laughs> no, yes. win it. Yeah, you know, it's, it's there to, to win. It. They've shown they can get very close. No, no, no. You know what? I think, like, as I said, the chairman assembled a good, a good team. The yeah. only problem with my team, chop and change. If we can, like now, we already played many games, but they still chop and change because of, I think, like now, 12 game, 9 game, mm -hmm. a winning combination. Yeah, how? Yeah. You know that this team. Kitty Miller and I trust to understand the I trust. Mm. Whenever I go to play Africa, I'm gonna play with this team. But the problem is that with my team, we're still looking for a winning combination, combination. which is like with nine, uh, 11, 12 games, mm. you can't you understand. So if we can just get a winning combination, there's no way part of they can go there not within the, the confederation. I think we, you know we have depth in our team, and most of the players, um, I think we have a good, good, a good team, a good team that they can go there all the way to win the day, um, the convert. But right. the only problem, as I said, Hori, chop and change. If the coach can get his team right and get a winning combination, yeah. they can win it. And then the local league? The yeah. local league is tough. That's <laughs> where we were number one. Nah, That's what I'm saying, like now, local still, league. Still far. Like, it's still far. But, yeah. you know, like now, if, like, same, if we can get a winning combination. 13, 14 games is not, like, it's, it's nah, it, it doesn't mean out, if, yeah. The, there's, there's, there's. If you say fourteen games, yeah. it's how many points? I get it. There's how many left? Sixteen. Yes. Games. So it's more than the games you play. But before you know it, 
it will be 25 games and you look at the table yeah, yeah. maybe upside down, i don't know uh, maybe other countries you can and can say or what yeah uh, Sab, you know maybe what? last five games you can see who's yeah. going yeah. but now because of like now the team that is like um ailing good in sundowns mm. they are playing the champions league and it's not you know it's not easy to travel and come back and play you know there's where i was playing for bafana bafana i'll come back on um sunday Fabi. Tuesday, the coach will say, you must play. Yeah. I started like making mistakes. Eh? Mm. Like now, look at Chompo, Chompo Kekan. Mm. Why he's getting injur injuries now? Because of fatigue. Yeah, yeah. traveling. Can't play traveling. the Champions, traveling. Champions League local. Champions League local. That's why I told the coach about Obama I said, mm. coach, give this boy a break. Where we're playing Confet, whatever. Opa played all the games. I said, coach, give this boy a break. Yeah. He's going to get injured. What happened to Opa? Got injured. Where's he today? And you know, today is like it's the F all the advantages to say make use of a, a conditioning coach make use of a nutrition make use of that because we don't know how the muscles to relax it and to recover it and the best way is when you travel so much sleep make sure you sleep if you can sleep 10 hours sleep buffet too don't be <laughs> like asking rest, rest. Shaila Lavuga <laughs> two days after you'll perform no 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 it might not catch up now but yeah. it will catch up what you like lucky say the muscles is, is, is different between all of us. But as players, if you have a hectic schedule, eat right, sleep as much as you can, rest. There's no thing for that. You know, this ice bath and what, what. Yeah, it will work when you play back-to-back -back games. But when you travel, especially the continent and come and play, and now if you in all these competitions, uh, mod ah, it's going to, somewhere you're going to crumble. Catches up. <laughs> somewhere you're going to crumble, you see. Okay. Some teams are in. They're going forward, cutting next round. Others are out, but it's better because they can prepare there, there. Not here, there, there, there. Maybe everything can crumble then. <laughs> <It's trouble. laughs> That's true. Um, so, from what I gathered, Parrot is winning the confit. That's what, well, at least that's what Fabian wishes. And you said Chiefs is going to do well in the group stages of the Champions League. If they go to the quarterfinals. This, I don't see them why they can't go to the final because remember our teams are in the final year in year out it's only last season we lost out mm. got the semi-final yeah. but before you can count between I think 95 and then uh, my 2000s mm. I also lost in the cup final you know what I'm saying lucky, lucky lost also yeah. in the cup final so we want to bring that trend back to say that whoever is going let's support the team let's get behind them and and you know what, what some teams do in other countries? I don't know. The PSL won't probably allow it. Like Tipi Mazembe, especially. When they play on the continent, the season finish, they sign or get most of those top players mm. to boost them for that season, to go all the way and win the Champions League. Yeah. They recruit to say, let's make a team that can win this Champions League. Mm. Not for us, like Lucky is saying, it's for the country. You know, the star, no star, it's all right but it's for the country, <laughs> you know. And if your dead team does well, yeah. most of those, those players, 80%, are yeah. playing yeah. for national team. Mm -hmm. The others that are performing and coming in, look, the door is always open. Yeah. They just come and add on, and then the ranking of the, the, the country will also pick up. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. We wish them all the best. Let them go out and compete. No excuses. All right, cool stuff. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us on the Sisonke Disky Chat. And uh, good luck to your respective teams. Uh, we also say good luck to them because uh, we are proud supporters and sponsors of both Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs. And speaking about that, uh, like I told you in the beginning of the show, if you want to win yourself a customized Gusheshe or a customized Kentucky Rounder, it's very simple. Head out to now.vodacom.co.za and now you can enter our competition Sisonke Siawina where you stand to win lots of prizes but most importantly those two beautiful iconic cars uh, all the details are on the show as you can see on uh, the strap below and uh, good luck uh, and on that note we are out Sisonke Disky Chat we'll see you on the next episode